magnetic headphones implanted into your ears, Microsoft's latest news, and Sony's new smartwatch. It's June 28th, I'm Daria, it's the Redheaded Geek Show. <laughs> So some dude implanted magnets into his ears that work just like headphones. What? Just when I think we're doing some freaky stuff with technology, some dude goes off and does this. A man named Rich Lee, self-described grinder, I don't really know what that means, is an individual who dabbles in body modification. He is the first person to do this. He surgically implanted a magnet into his tragus, a popular spot for piercing, and wears a coil device around his neck. The coil causes a magnetic field, creating sound. Maybe we aren't that far from mixing robotics and biology. What about spying on someone's conversation? Well, that question was asked and Lee responded, I live in the US where apparently it is legal for things like PRISM to exist, so I just kind of figured there's probably a loophole in the law for this sort of thing somewhere. Wow. Microsoft's policy on charging developers each time a game of theirs is released has officially ended. Eurogamer is reporting this occurred silently earlier this year. Why charge developers anyway? To make sure the games are important, well done, and tested. But Microsoft's fees have been ridiculous and it's been pissing off game developers. Imagine how many small studios probably didn't even get a chance to release their patch. Probably many considering the policy charged tens of thousands of dollars. While well, all is good now, the charges are zero, only unless a company tries to submit a game that is not up to par with certification requirements. Could be a positive move for Microsoft to show some Steam-esque-ness. You guys better do this for the Xbox One. Yeah? Sony is back with another attempt at their very own smartwatch. Smartwatch 2 looks similar to the prior model, which didn't make the cut due to high price and some software clumsiness. As an Android companion, or even dubbed as a second screen for your device, its launch this week appears promising. When your phone is out of reach, you can complete most tasks with just the watch. This includes taking a phone call, photos, etc. Could we call it a wrist phone? How about the latest Apple smartwatch competitor? Go on Facebook, text, scroll through missed calls. It will work with Android 4.0 and up and Bluetooth 3.0. Its major differences since the prior model include its bumped up screen display at 1.6 inches with a higher resolution of 220 by 176. The improved battery life is higher than any smartwatch on the market. To charge, just use a micro USB. The wristband is now stainless steel but can be swapped with any style you prefer. Expected to hit this September but no price just yet. Hoping it's reasonable, cause the last one was 150 bucks and folks didn't like that so much. A Kickstarter project got my attention this week for three reasons. It has successfully passed its goal, which I always love hearing about. It's a company that's based in Austin and it's Xbox related. Can't stop talking about Xbox. Various do-it-yourself projects have been attempted by mod creators assembling computers with internal Xbox hardware. The difference with this company, named Django, is their aim was to create an actual Xbox 360 laptop that anyone can buy, or if they desire, build themselves. And don't worry, they are fully aware of the Xbox One requirements in store for their product. The case itself is partially assembled by a 3D printer also using high quality 3mm black acrylic for the panels. The custom touch interface is based on the Arduino processor. Their hybrid name for it is the Xduino 360. Ha! That hurt my mouth. <laughs> Xduino. Display is 15.6 inches, resolution is 1266 by 768, and it has all the same ports as the 360 with additional ones for amplifying sound. Connect is also able to add on. Visually, you can see it isn't the smallest thing in the world, but it sure is portable, which is the entire point. You can play games in whatever setting you choose, private or group for LAN parties. Connected to your television, you can play and watch movies. Already covered by Mashable, Engadget, and all of these, Tech Django's hope for success came true. Prices so far are $9.99 for the fully assembled laptop, or if choosing the self-assembling kit, about half that. Any 
of you interested? Why or why not? Let me know how you feel about all these topics. I wish you a fantastic weekend. Comments are welcome and I thank you for watching.